It's wet. It's been raining all night and most of the day. So we're going to take our bite from the top of our ascender. And we'll pass it through the crotch. There's the there's the M shape with the bite. All right, because we want to test the friction, I'm going to take this rope and put it past some of that paper between the rope. And it's almost a little bit wet, but I'm going to descend 60 feet. And then we'll see what that paper looked like. So, that is one of the lines to my lounge chair. We're going to go down past the lounge chair. I wanted, I could drop into my lounge chair and take a little break. Yeah, once again, while I'm thinking about it, make sure you have a stop or not. Always hit the end of your climbing line. Okay. And there I am, back to the trunk. And I'm ready to climb up. And we'll go check out the paper and see what that friction looked like. Okay, here's the paper. You can see where the paper's a little soggy, but you can see where it rubbed through the paper a little bit. But where the other climbing line is, you can see where it was pressed down, but there's nothing between it and the other climbing line. It's all right here where it was rubbing and then right here where some of the plastic was exposed you can see where it got a little warm and melted through a little bit of the plastic. So obviously there's some friction there but it doesn't look like it gets up next to that rope. Now, if it was a small V-shaped branch union like this, I don't know if I'd consider that branch union suitable because it's going to force one of the ropes on top of the other rope and you would get rope on rope friction. So what I would use on something like this is definitely use a leather cambium saver and it eliminates any of that rope to rope contact. Or use a ring to ring.
All right, so I've pulled paper between those two climbing lines and let's see how much friction, if the paper will stay in place, it might. We'll see how much friction from a 60 foot descent we get between those climbing lines. Again, most of the friction is right here. There's, look at that, there's not much weight there. Probably twice as much there. But most of the friction is going right here and that's where I want it. Now if you were going up on this in a three to one, you might want a pulley on there. But for the descent, that's where you want your friction. So I think it works better not to have a pulley there, just the carabiner. Here's the uh, paper I've took in, taken out of the ring-to-ring -ring friction saver. You can see right here where the static line was pressed up against it. On the other side, you can see where it's gotten a little dirty. There is some wear marks, but most of that was from me. I think the, a little bit of ripping and stuff was from me pulling it through the ring-to-ring. -ring. You can see it's not, it's not worn all the way through. Um, the paper looks pretty good actually. I mean, it's kind of, it's a little bit soggy from being a wet day. And I'll go back up and I'll put the uh, rope in the exact spot where it was. And we'll see if we can identify anywhere on the rope. But that was a 60 foot descent. Probably more than I'll be doing for most redirects. Damn, that was 42 minutes. Ain't gonna win any competition doing that. Okay, I have identified the place on the climbing line. 
right there where there was the contact. There you can see the mark. That's where it rubbed together. It's just dirty. In fact, I bet you I could rub that off, but I'm not seeing enough wear on there that I would be concerned. And that was That was a longer descent than I'm likely to do for most of my redirects, so not really an issue. I mean, it could be an issue. You have to address it, but it's not a concern. This is a technique that's already used and it's similar except that now I've taken the bite and I've taken it below my multi sender and basically done the same loop and it assists on a return from going downhill on a limb walk it's kind of like when I'm coming back from a steep limb walk I'll do a three to one so that I can hold on to something with one hand and pull myself back with the other in this case I have made it life support by putting just a simple pressic on one leg and then I'll slide that down as I return back. You can put any kind of a pressic on there. makes the return quite a bit easier and if you needed less friction again you might be able to pulley on there but and what's kind of cool is that notice my multi sender just progresses back with me but if that was to let go this is ready to engage whenever I need it and but notice I'll I'll swing out into air and come back on this. And there I'm back.